What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to re enable the ability to download apps from anywhere in OS Sierra. So, recently, I went to download an app and I realized that I couldn't open it. So, I was able to get to the um, the main place where you drag it in and everything but before I do that I always try to check the disk image to make sure that it's working so when I clicked on it I just kinda double clicked it and then it does the verification thing that it does where it checks out the app and then I got an error And this error was basically telling me that this disk image is corrupted or damaged and I should just throw it in the trash. But I know this disk image is a good image. So I went, I figured it was something with my settings. And so what I did was I went into, um, I closed this out. I went into system preferences and then security and privacy. So that way I could allow apps uh, to be downloaded from anywhere. But the option isn't there. So in OS Sierra, they have removed this option, which is annoying. So what I did was I killed that, and then I opened up uh, my finder bar with command and space bar, and then I typed in T for terminal, and this is what I typed in. And I'm going to put this in the description so that you guys can see it. It basically says... Um, sudo space sptl space hyphen hyphen master hyphen disable and then you're going to click enter now it's going to ask you for your um, computer password go ahead and type that in and then once you do that that's all you need to do you can close terminal now okay so now we're going to go back over to system preferences back to security and privacy and you should now see the option once more to allow apps to be downloaded from anywhere. So now you can go ahead and download your apps from wherever you want. Well now let's say you have somebody in your home that knows your computer password for administrative purposes and they download really dumb stuff and you don't want them to do that anymore. Well you can easily stop them by re-enabling um, the, the lock that Sierra put on there by typing pretty much the same thing but instead of disable you want to put enable click enter type in your password and then close terminal and then go over to system preferences security and privacy and the option will be gone once more so there you have it Hopefully this has helped you. If it has, please like and share, especially seeing as how Sierra is new and a lot of people are going to be having this problem. Also, if my tutorials and videos do help you out, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support helps continue to motivate me to do what I do. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.